Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and finally, Samsung has given the S Pen to their newest tablet, the Galaxy Tab S3. So in this video, we will do a deep dive into the S Pen and uncover all the tips, tricks, and features so that you may master the S Pen. I'm truly astonished as to how deep and rich the S Pen is when it is coupled with the Tab S3. So let's dive in and start discovering. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go into the S Pen settings. I'm gonna show you how each one of those settings actually allows you to enhance the use of your S Pen. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to go into the S Pen settings. There are actually two ways to do so. The first way is you simply pull down the notifications panel and click on the settings, and then you go into advanced features, and from here you go into the S Pen. And here you're gonna see a lot of menus. Now, Air Command is part of the S Pen. It's one of the biggest features. So if you tap on that one, that takes you further down into another menu that is also accessible with your S Pen, with the actual pen. Let me show you how to do that. So let's go out. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to bring the pen in front of the screen and press that button on the side. And that brings up the Air Command menu. And as you can see over here, there's a little settings button. When I hover the S Pen over it, it actually says settings. Now I'm not touching the screen, I'm just hovering the S Pen over the screen. So when I tap this, it's gonna take me into the Air Command settings. All right, so if I normally wanna go to Air Command through the menu, I tap Advanced Features, uh, go to S Pen and tap on Air Command. But if I just wanna use the S Pen, I can tap this button and click this settings icon. Okay, so let's talk about the Air Command first and foremost. So again, if you press this button, uh, the Air Command menu comes up. It actually is rotatable, so you can go around and there's even more things. And what is happening here is everything that you see over here is actually things I put there myself. So this carousal menu over here is fully customizable. So how do you customize it? You have a couple options. You can press the settings icon or you can simply press this pen icon. So let's tap on this pen icon. It takes you into the Air Command menu. From there, you tap on Shortcuts. Now, once you're in the Shortcuts, this is the menu that you want to customize right over here, okay? So this is the same menu that I'm seeing on the side as a carousal menu. When I pull it using the S Pen, it is called the Air Command menu. Now, just one thing to understand here is that there's two sections. There is the S Pen features that you can add into the menu, or there is the apps and functions that you can add into the menu. So right now, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five of the S Pen features over here. And then I have one, two, three, four, five apps right from here that are over here. And you can tell what is selected because as you can see, it has been grayed out. So you have full colors and you have a grayed out version over here. So that means this calculator is right over there. So I'm looking over here. It looks like I do not need the clock anymore in my Air Command menu. I just remove this. And I just want to let you know that the Air Command allows you to add a total of 10 uh, shortcut items. So right now I have, I'm left with 9. As soon as I remove the clock, I was left with 9. So I can, if I wanted to, add one more from here. So I can take one of these S Pen features that is called Glance, and I can just add it at the bottom over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all the app shortcuts because I do not need them. Actually, let's just leave Calculator over here. Uh, let me put magnify and then I'm going to put calculator. So let me go back out. Let me launch this thing. And then let me just go into calculator just to demonstrate. So if you tap it, it takes you into the calculator application. All right. Now what I'm going to do is towards the end of this video, I'm going to go over all these different features one by one. Okay. These are all S Pen features and I would like to show you guys. But before that, let me show you all the other settings that pertain to the S Pen. So if I go back into the settings, and if I go back into advanced features, and if I tap on S Pen, these are all the other S Pen features. That's the Air Command. We're going to talk about that, but these are the ones I want to show you. So the first one is called Air View. What Air View allows you to do is it allows you to preview things in certain apps just by hovering the S Pen over them. So if I tap this, it takes me into the actual detailed settings for Air View. And here's just one example of what it can do. It says view more details in calendar by hovering your S Pen over an event or a task. And of course it is enabled. If you want to disable it, you tap this icon, but just enable that because it is in fact a nice feature. 
So let me go back out. Let me just uh, launch calendar and let me hover over an event and see what happens. So let's go over here. And as you can see, I did not touch the screen. I'm, I am hovering over the screen and it's giving me a preview for that day on which I'm hovering the S Pen. So let's take a look at this. It says Quicken Payment Due, okay? Or if I tap, I mean not tap, hover over this. It says take medication between six and seven o'clock. You can do the same thing in the gallery application. So if I launch the gallery application, uh, I can simply hover over things and it will give me a preview of the picture I'm hovering over. So if I wanna hover over this, it gives me a full preview. If I hover over this, it gives me a full preview. Absolutely fantastic. And that is called Air View. Now let's go back into the settings. Let's go back. And the next thing is direct pen input. Let's tap on this. It gives you, it always gives you details. So what this does is it allows you to use your S Pen for handwriting just about anywhere. Let me show you one example. So let's say this option is turned on. Let's say you're in Safari. Let's just go to Safari right over here and then let's tap over here and let's clear that. Let's say I want to do something else. So let's say instead of typing in, I want to handwrite the address. All I have to do is hover the S Pen over here. It's going to bring up that tiny blue symbol that says T and then I tap on that and that transforms my keyboard into a handwriting pad. From here, I can just type in W, 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 right dot as you can see it's very very nice goo go you know dot com so that is what this is all about so let's go back out uh, let's go back into the settings over here and let's go back out to the main menu and the next thing is called the pointer so whether you noticed it or not but as I bring the pen close to the screen there's a pointer that just floats about oops that just floats about with the screen. Okay, so that pointer is this pointer. If I disable this, that pointer disappears. To be honest, that pointer actually bothers me, so it's a great option to have that. I don't have to worry about that little hovering dot on the screen every single time now. And of course, the next trick over here is called the screen off memo. So this allows you to create a note by pressing the pen button. So you press this button and you tap on the screen. While the screen is off, and what's gonna happen is tablet allows you to take a note really quick. So let me demonstrate. So it's enabled right now. So let's turn off the screen. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this button and then tap on the screen. And as you can see, it brings up a black and white memo screen. And from here, I can quickly start writing. Alrighty, and whatever I wanna write. And then I click save and then I can just move on. So this is a great way to take notes quickly. So this is a great way to take notes very quickly and just move on. So you do not have to unlock the screen to take notes. All you do is you press this button, you tap on the screen and it brings up that memo screen. You can write immediately and move on. If you're a journalist, you take notes. If you want to write somebody's number down, you can do that as well. You get the idea. So let's move on to the next uh, trick. So let's go back into the settings. And the final thing is at the bottom, it says S Pen Sound. So basically, if I go into, so let's say I go to Samsung Notes, and let's say I create a new note. Uh, when I'm writing down, let's go over here for pen. When I'm writing down, it actually creates a sound. It emulates a pencil and paper sound. If you do not want that sound, you can disable it but that's what this is. It's all it is, is it, it disables or enables the pen writing sound, which my microphone is probably not picking up right now. All right, now let's talk about all the air command features, which is right over here. Now, first and foremost, let me just get rid of this calculator app over here. That's a shortcut. That's not a um, air command feature or an S Pen feature, so I'm just gonna take that off. But as you can see, all these are selected. I'm gonna show you all of them one by one. Now the first two ones are very simple. So the first one is create note. You tap that, it takes you into Samsung notes and you start writing. That's all it is, okay? Uh, the number two one is, uh, takes you also to Samsung notes. Uh, when you click this, it just shows you all the notes you have taken, all right? So if you don't want these, you can take these two off. They're not a big deal. Now here are the good ones. So first and foremost, let's talk about Smart Select. If you tap it, 
you can select any area on the screen in any form or shape and save it into your gallery and you can even edit it. So let me just show you one example. Let's do the oval tool. Let's select this over here. Okay, so that's going to get selected. From here, you can extract the text out of it. So it will take out these numbers and this little writings over here. Uh, you can draw on it. You can share it as it is, or you can simply save it. So let's save it. And what happens is it goes into your gallery. If I go to the gallery now, it's right over here. Okay, so that's the um, that's Smart Select. And again, if you go into Smart Select, and if you tap on it, you can choose different ways to select things. So I can do rectangular um, savings over here too. So if I want to save that that way, it can go in there that way. If I tap on Extract Text, it extracted the exact uh, text that was shared within that photo, and I can now copy it, close it, or share it. You can do this anywhere. You can do this on a website. You can do this on a photo. You can do this on something you selected on the screen. Not too bad. So let's go back out and look at the next option. So if I tap over here again, I mean the, the button on the pen. Next one is screen right. What screen right allows you to do is it takes a screenshot of wherever you are and then you can write on it and edit that screenshot. So if I do it right now, it just took a screenshot of the screen that I was looking at. And as you can see, I can start writing right on it. When I'm done writing, I can save it, share it, or crop it. Now, just to make sure you understand exactly what it is, let me go into uh, Google Maps right over here, okay? And let's do a screenshot right here. So bring up the Air Command menu by pressing that uh, button on your S Pen. And then type on screen right. It's gonna take a screenshot of the um, area that you're in, then you can make a circle or whatever, okay? And then you can also crop, if I tap this, I can actually crop this image, okay? There we go. And as you can see, I can do a lot of editing. Now, if I save this, and if I go back into my gallery, uh, it's gonna be saved right over there. There we go, okay? Absolutely fantastic. These are very, very useful tools if you know how to use them. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one over here. The next one is called Translate, another fantastic feature. So if I tap on, let's first of all, let me go to um, a website. Let's go to Chrome over here. Let's see what we have. Okay, we have something. And let's say I want to uh, translate any of these words from English to some other language, or if this was another language, I could have translated to English. So what you do is you bring up the Air Command menu, you tap on Translate, and then this little thing bar comes up, you can move this bar around, and it can allow you to choose from what language to what language you are actually translating. If you tap it, uh, you pick the main language, okay, the one that you're using, and if you tap this, you can choose the language you wanna transfer to. So right now we have English to Turkish. So what I do is, if I hover over any word over here, what it's gonna do is, it's going to convert that word into the language that is in the second position over here. This is a phenomenal little feature. Again, if I go onto this word over here, it's gonna translate that word. And I can even go over here and ask it to speak it for me, okay? All this is done by Google. So it's using the power of Google and creating these fantastic tools. When you're done, you can click X and it's gone. So let's look at the next one. So if you go over here, uh, the next one is glance. So if I tap on glance, nothing's gonna happen. What, the way Glance works is you have to have an application uh, that's actually running. And all you do is you bring up the Air Command menu, okay? You tap on Glance, and that app actually becomes a tiny little window that you can put anywhere. And what you can do is you can glance at it by hovering your S Pen over it. So if I hover over, there we go, okay? So if I go over here, let me go to back to the uh, Chrome and let's do a glance on this, see what happens. So if I glance, now I have that over here onto which I can glance. Uh, this is great for studying, for researching. So I could be writing something over here and I have an article over here that I wanna glance at every, every other second, maybe to um, add something from that article into my research paper. This is, this is fantastic. Now when you want to get rid of it, you grab it and you drag it over here, remove and it's gone. All right, so let's look at the next uh, feature. The next feature is called Magnify, and that should be obvious. If I tap on this, it's gonna allow me to hover my S Pen over an area of the screen to magnify. 
Beautiful. So here we go. Magnified. Magnified. And over here, I can change the um, magnification level. So it's going to be 250% magnified. Now it's even bigger. Okay. And again, I can move this anywhere that I want. All right. So that was the last of the um, S Pen features under Air Command. Let's go to Settings. So that's the Air Command. And again, if you go back here, you can change everything. By the way, when you're done with the magnification, you simply click X here and it's gone. Magnify closed. All right, guys. So remember, uh, this menu over here is the same as this menu over here. And you get to customize this as you please and you can rotate it. All righty. And then if I go back in here, over here, you have the S Pen features, seven total features that we just went over. You can add them over here or you can add functions and apps. By the way, you can have a maximum of 10 app shortcuts for your Air Command Carousal. All right, fantastic. And that actually brings us to the end of this video. You have learned everything there is to learn about the S Pen, S Pen features, the Air Command menu, and all the settings. Now, one thing I forgot to show you guys is the floating icon. So what you can do is instead of pressing the button on the pen uh, to bring up the Air Command, you can enable the floating icon. So when I bring the S Pen within the proximity of the screen, the floating icon appears and then you can simply tap it and that also brings up the Air Command. This is a convenient feature if you do not want to press this button every single time. By the way, this can be moved anywhere you want for convenience, okay? I can keep it in the corner over here or I can keep it, oops, right over here. And then if I just tap it, it brings up the Air Command menu. So when you go into the settings, the floating icon is right here. If you don't like the floating icon, you can disable it, okay? Or you can enable it. Now, the funny thing is when you enable it for the first time, you're not going to see it. You do have to bring your pen close to the screen and then it appears. And then if you move your pen away and wait for a couple seconds, it actually disappears. It sleeps. So it's not a constant bother on the screen. It only appears when you need it to appear. That's when you come close. Okay, so that was the final thing I wanted to show you guys. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to watch all my other Tab S3 videos for which links will appear on the screen or can be found in the description below. Have a fantastic day.